Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Inept General, and welcome to part 27, I believe, of our Von Karstein playthrough. We are about to put an end to chaos, but Kolek is going to survive for one more turn. So let's end this turn. Elsa, the Wailing Hag, has an upgrade. Let's give her another misdirector bonus. And then let's end the turn. What did Kolek do there? I didn't actually make that out. Yeah, that's fine. Osland. Oh, interesting. That's all right. All right, so he didn't really move, didn't really do anything. So let's get this Banshee in an army. Uh, that's not the army I meant, but. Uh, okay, let's just do this. Uh, no, that, that. Nope. Oh, Christ, that is not what I meant to do. What is wrong with you? Oh, that is... Okay. Misidentifying my armies there. Alright. Isabelle's there. Let's get Vlad in here. Oh, Kulik, you want to stand your ground, do you? Very, very nice. Okay, let's do this thing. Have you got any throwaway units I can use? You have a less good spearman than me. That will do the trick. We do have a lot of cab, but we've got a lot of cab as well. And we've got the black coach, which they don't have. Only a level 2 colec. Let's do this. I think we might be super aggressive with these guys, actually. Just get right up on them. Charge in. So I think we could take this army one-on-one. -on -one. Biggest threats, cannons, and the chariot. The Chaos Knights are a problem, but we should be able to handle them, really. Isabel is coming from way back there. Technically, uh, they have this hill, though, but we are attacking him. I get my entire army in this little section here. That would be hilarious. How have they lined up here? In a humorous way. All right, we've got knights on the... They have all their anti-large in the middle for some reason. All right, let's do this. Uh, we're going to have to pick a unit, you guys. It's going to be have to be you. What happens is you're going to be further forward than everybody else. Spreads it thin. 
and we're going for it spears on the flanks just in case they do get any funny ideas but then all of our cav is going in this actually not all of it maybe all of it yeah all of our cav is going in this pocket so boom blood knights black coach and behind could have the Morse engine quite far back because it is probably going to want to shoot at somebody in an unhelpful way Put you here. Sorry, guys, line up with that bloody uh, not dragon giant is going to be. You guys back up the spears if they run into trouble. I think we want our flyer up in the pocket as well. All right, you guys. Control G. Okay, that's what you're all doing. Blood Knights. Please charge into them immediately. Straight in there along with the Black Coach. But the Black Coach is going into these Chosen with great weapons. And these guys are going to go help out the Black Knights. You're going for the cannons. Oh, they're panicking. They are panicking. All right, what have we got here? Isabella, everyone. Just come up with them. Group one. Bring it right up. giant and went in against our blood knights getting against this giant buddy Here we go, now we've got a target. Am I gonna lose my blood knights? Very probably. Let's get her over here. I'll go get in there. Lad, get in there.
Uh oh, there's Kolek. I don't like that. Uh, what can you do? Maybe just drop some zombies on top of these. Help distribute some of that damage. Black Coach is going to go. Not my most sensible fighting strategy I've ever in, ever used, but there we go. That's the way it goes. How are you doing against Kolek, Vlad? You can't miss him, can you? Christ, has that guy been firing this whole time? Needs my terror guys. Unit is not a lord or hero. What? Why can't I cast this on anything? My fashion is my. Oh, is it just on herself? Did they break or did they actually kill my terror guys? I think they did both. Kolek, you bloody wuss. We took a battering in that fight. Much more than I expected to. 720. Those cannons got off a lot of kills. 247. Oof. Vlad lost most of his army. God, I hope he gets those Blood Knights back at least. Maybe the Terror Geist as well. The rest I can let go. But that would be devastating if we lose it. We've had those Blood Knights since the beginning. That giant did some solid work as well. He has most of his army left still alive. King of darkness, I know the way. Isabel, this is oh, wait, 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 wait. I know my it's not what I meant to say. This is what I was after. Alright, we're probably going to lose a Vargulf. He lost spears. Vlad's army is devastated. Well, that is chaos done. Oh, a potion of healing. Alright, 
Vlad, you got to get back to some form of civilization. As you, Isabella, really. You're going to take one more turn of attrition. You don't have this problem. Let's fill this up with some cheap. What could you use? Not the chill geist. It's already got dogs. Let's give you the tithe, Manfred. that as well super cheap oh come on these are easy assassinations you're missing guys Get her on a health steed. Grave ward first. Let's throw something on here. Let's do that. Isabella. What do we say we wanted with her? Uncanny presence, that's what we wanted. Eternal Warden, Siege Holdout time plus one. Got rebellion down to Wolfenberg. A place where we have armies raiding. These guys still haven't been dealt with. Come on, Red Duke. Get better at it. Okay, finally got rid of them. We can't colonize that. Leonez is completely under our control. Vlad needs time. You go grab Prague. Isabella needs a couple of units. These used to be hers. Which we'll takes the 18. 
She has a two Vargulf, which she's had for a while. What else did she used to have that I'm forgetting? I think those were both lads, along with the dogs. Could have a raise another spear. I need it all. Move here, you should be able to recruit a spear, indeed. I've seen lack of armor piercing. And she lost her terror guys. That's what we're looking for. No terror guys. Oh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. Landhart is all his front line. He has no spears, of which he'll need at least two. These, were, these all were his. What else is he missing? The horrors he kept. Terror guys he kept. What else did we used to have in Vlad's army? Blood Knights. Blood Knights, Blood Knights, Blood Knights. We'll have to go and recruit those. As he heads south, he'll pick up some fresh Blood Knights. Yeah, Manfred, you just do your thing. Money's getting a little bit tight again. Very clever dwarves, very clever. You know I can't really do anything about you there. Not sure what to do now. Someone needs to take out this rebellion. Probably Isabella. Because she'll have everything she needs next turn. And she can go. You are Manfred's man, so go be Manfred's man. Alright, let's end that turn. Steinbeck the Enduring. Banshee's returning home. Do something, dwarves. What are you doing? You have the stacks. Just come for me. Let's finish this once and for all. Norska. Great. God, that was a lot of movement.
and she coming back over here. I'm not sure what I want you to do exactly. Let's get a wall up here, Essid. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Two Norsecan armies over there. Isabella's going for these rebels. Manfred might be okay, actually, for a little bit. Oh, we, the Black Coach survived. Great, but our Blood Knights didn't. So what else am I missing? I can't think, actually. We've got the Horrors. We've got the Terrorgeist. Oh, we had a unit of Vargeist as well, didn't we? Oh, here we go. We can sort this all out now. That's what we had. They're not what we once had, lads, but you know what? Sage going all the way down south. And now Vlad can actually zoom across here and take care of these guys next turn. Build that. Let's build a few, couple of small things. We have a bit of money. Avalon, do you need a big thing? Is there anywhere we can build something that will just make us money? If you're going to have that, you probably need one of these, actually. There we go. Okay, you want a skeletal steed? Manfred looks like he's having a great time. Oh, here comes another army. Why not? Join the party. Where was the war herd of chaos hiding out? That should be the Age of Peace. Look at that. Here goes Vlad. That's not great, but we'll take it. Where are my blood knights? Lucky, lucky. Okay, there's Vlad's recuperating. Here comes Isabella. Plus six melee attack. Who should we give that to? Probably these guys?
Now, if Isabella recoups all of that, I think she should actually be fine to settle Carson von Rauken. Which means, like, let's have a look at Kemmler's army. How good is his armor piercing? Not bad, actually. Doesn't have much in the way of cav. But what do we need that for anyway? Okay, so Kemmler. I'm not too afraid of the Empire anymore. You are marching south to fight the Dawi. Bring the Banshee with you. There's a lot of hammers. No walls, though. Why can you move in double movement? Over here. But I think if you move, they're coming for us. This Gorse army? Oh, these do oh, this is gonna be a terrible this is a terrible army. Let's change your uh, movement here, of course, just in case they do attack. Manfred is almost back to full. Red Duke will have a fight in his hands next turn. Everyone else is fine. Belagar. Now that's an interesting move, Belagar. That changes things. So I can see you're trying to tempt me out of Akendorf. Deal this quickly. You still give me advantage. How much auto resolve strength do you give the Red Duke? That's a bit nuts, but all right, I'll take it. Raise a stand that he picked up. Very nice. No necromancer over here. That could be handy. Maybe with a vampire as well. Honorable Misshapen. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So Isabella's done her bit. Lion's gonna spin around here, kill him.
There goes that Norsken army. Now, okay, there's some beast men over here. I assume that's who Bretonio is chasing. We're going to move Vlad over here, and he's going to try and take Norden. I'm going to do a very quick bit of vulnerability here, where our armies will be down. Because we have just recolonized a couple of places. Prague has a wall at the very least. And we just broke the back of the Norskans. Now this is where it might get interesting. Right. How are we going to do this? What can you do if I send you against this city? Damage the walls for money. If you don't currently have. Now that might be pretty good. They don't have a lot of missiles actually, this army. They do have quite a few very good units. And so... They have two stacks here now. So I think I have to deal with this threat or I lose that town. Oh, you left. That was cheeky. They're now going to ambush Gorst. Hold on. Which means that Kemmler is going to have to move over here. Is he moving double speed? No. Let's move him double speed. I think he's a bit too far away for any of the Dwarven armies to get to. That's going to be an ambush. Manfred is fine for now. So is everyone else. Let's end the turn. Earthing. There we go. Red Duke. Red Fury. With a death. Go on, do it, dwarves. I know we're going to get in a fight. Damn it, I knew you were going to do that, you dwarven gits. What have they got? A lot of slayers. A lot of slayers. A lot of slayers. How much missiles do they have? Two thunderers. Five thunderers. Rangers, quarrelers. It's the missiles I'm more afraid of than anything else. We do have a lot of dogs. They don't have a lot of armored units per se. Now my worry is... How many flyers do you have? None. You guys do have whirling axes. It's weird that it says that, but then doesn't give them missile resistance. Oh, it does. Sorry, that is missile resistance. We don't really have much large in this army, apart from the horrors. They might have to take a bit of a back seat in this one. We do have some cav. 
Hammers will have to watch out for. I think we might actually be able to take this one. Even though Gorst is going to be tired. So let's... Uh, let's pick up with this fight in the next part. I'm going to fight these dwarves because I think I can get around them. Get into their missiles with this cav we have. And get it with the bats and the dogs. And really just rip apart these missile lines and artillery pieces uh, of the dwarves. So tune in next time for that, guys. As always, a special thanks to my patrons. John, Reese, Colin, Matthias, Samuel, Mathies, David, and Peter. And a thanks to you all for watching. And I hope to catch you on the next one where it will be Gorst versus Belagar. All right, guys. See you on the next episode.